So for the next part of this racing game, we're going to actually set up these variables. So score is going to be the number zero to begin with. So in maths, there's zero. So when you first start the game, it's going to set that to zero. And then we're going to, for the first time, use some sprites. So we're going to create a sprite for the player car. Let's make it 2-4. And you might ask yourself, where on the micro bit screen that might appear. Have a think now and you'll see when you eventually run this program. So we're going to set game on. This is a flag saying if the game on is going to be true or false. So within logic we're going to turn the game on. Okay and this is all going to go from within a while true loop so it will keep running forever. Now there's an alternative instead of while true, there is a forever loop and these functionally actually are the same. So I think to maintain parity with the worksheet I'll use the forever loop. Now within this there's going to be a while loop but it's not while true because true functions forever. It's going to be while the game on is true, so while we're still playing the game. So what are we going to do? We're going to find an equals, I think it's in logic. So while the variable game on is that logical true. And we're going to make the game pause when the game's running. So it would do this until the game is finished and then we will change the score. So we're not going to change the item, we're going to change the score. Your score will go up by in variables change score by the value of score. And then in game we'll have game over. So this is a forever loop that starts your game running and while the game is true, it will just pause and then eventually it will come out of this loop. I'll have something to end the game and then the score will go up by score. 